All right. All welcome right. To welcome to the Chris Podcast. Chris Podcast. Uh, 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 our, uh, our, uh, our, uh, our, uh, our, uh, is Barry Robinson. Barry Robinson. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, oh, I'm trying to, to, one of them, one of them, trying to join us and join us. And there he is. There he is. There's the door. And Ricky, and Ricky's going awesome. 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 I didn't like nobody. I didn't like nobody was going to be here. Got like a couple of episodes of the podcast. Yes, this is very, very Robinson. Robinson, Ricky, Ricky, Dale Bullock, Dale, Dale, one of my co-hosts. Co-hosts. And uh, we're just going to have a discussion on the topics of Bigfoot tonight. Somebody got a TV or radio in the background? Yeah, hang on a minute. Yeah, hang on a minute. I knew I was hearing something. Yeah, let's stop. Yeah, let's stop. Howdy, God bless you. Uh, uh, before we went on live, we were talking about us, but he had a, he had a, he's there, there around his place, around his place, he's a big, 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 uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Wait, 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 catch up. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah, you got it. I can hear you, okay? okay. How about now? I can't. Yeah, yeah, I think Dale yeah, might be frozen. He ain't moved in a couple minutes. Yeah, I think he's down there. Yeah, I think he's frozen up. Internet glitch already. Hey, y'all, get it. Have any activity for him, well, we got a lot of water. John, John's mountain. Still got a place over here. I'll audio Can y'all hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you, Wendell. All right, I can hear you now. What are you saying? What are you saying? Oh, I said, oh, I said, we've got a hot spot over the and one over on the ground. About 10 miles where I live here. We've been doing it pretty heavy. Got any idea why it's a hot spot, or what makes it a hot spot? Or well, we got we got uh, we found we found that track and we found uh, three three blades. We found uh, 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 six over there. Uh, 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 one guy, one guy, and his daughter, 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 and his
I'm always curious about hot spots, the area itself, what it is that attracts them to it. Is there something special in the area, like a river or lake or? Well, there's, well, there's, there's actually three or four lakes across the across mountain, 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 And being mountainous like that, I'm betting there's caves everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 One of our yeah, one of our We all know I've said before, I always thought caves play a big part in how they get around, caves and tunnels. Got a comment there. I've been able to hear you pretty good the whole time. I don't know about my end, but... Yeah, yeah, I can hear you every once in a while. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 I don't know what's going on. Certain areas, certain areas don't uh, uh, big, big, we had a new, we had a new area, area up in, uh, up in, uh, uh Northern Northern Stone and uh, and uh, it's land that land that land that was 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 land that
just went blank. <laughs> like he was asking you about I found an area where there was a couple possible tracks and I found a I think it's called a some kind of oak tree. I can't think of what it kind of would be. But it's a type of oak that for about I'd say a good 13, 14 feet off the ground, every bit of oak or bark all the way around it had been stripped down off of it in long, almost like sheets or strips, and piled around the base of the tree. Now the trees around it hadn't been touched, they were held, and the top of this tree, above 13 or 14 foot, still had bark on it, was alive. Trees around it hadn't been touched. It looked like something literally pulled that bark off in strips, laid it down on the ground, and just stacked it up around the base of that tree. I put pictures out of it there. I, I think I put it on a few of my group and a few of the others and the possible prints I found nearby. And then that one little stick lift that formed an almost perfect cross that was laying right out in the open where you could see it, couldn't miss it. A couple sticks laying there, and I mean... Wendell seen it, it's almost a perfect cross formation. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, it was laying right out in the middle of a trail where I'd have had to trip over it to miss it. That's what me and Wendell was talking about before we went live. If we ever figure out why they do what they do, like I said, we'll be cooking with Crisco. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. 
Yeah. What's that? It's a Ricky Bell. Yeah. Dale's trying to convince He's having, He's having all kinds of stuff. I know how that feels. Ain't like it ever happened. Never happened. Don't lie. 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 Don't and leave StreamYard out of the equation. I wonder if StreamYard ain't part of it. I know you can go live, I just don't. Yeah, you can go live. On YouTube, you got a post group. I'm not sure I'm just curious if StreamYard ain't part of the problem, because like you said, we were doing fine until we went live, and the minute you go live, you start to have technical issues. Yeah. So next yeah. time I do a show, I'll, I might just I'll, try it straight to YouTube. And that's what I made. That's what I made. They be part of the deal. They want you to do the That's what I was the looking, paid version? I was looking at. The yeah. paid version? Yeah. Yeah, paid version. Five dollars. Five dollars a month. <laughs> Which would be all right if you knew it was going to work. Right, right. Of course, I had all that trouble with Facebook where I got hacked and then got locked out. And like, I can't even get on Facebook on my laptop here because it's my old account. Yeah. And every time I try yeah. to log in, it'll say, it's that old account and it'll say, you're locked. And I'm almost afraid to try to log in on the computer afraid they'll lock me out again out of the phone and everything have to start over from scratch again yeah yeah <laughs> runs all the runs all the effort yeah it's aggravating especially when it happened twice within a month or so there or whatever it was yeah it wasn't long yeah it wasn't long Gotta, Maybe I'm gotta, just uh, paranoid, but I almost felt like somebody had it in for me there. Yeah, getting too yeah, cold. Getting too cold. cold. Yeah. That's why I kind of joked about I got too close to something ruffled somebody's tail feathers. Got a, uh, got a, uh, even uh, 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 or your audio cut out on that. something about an I email. Said, I said that. Email here. Email here. Most of the Bigfoot. What percentage is Bigfoot what now? The uh, Bigfoot uh, speech are aggressive. Are aggressive. Basically, they're asking. Yeah. Aggressive. Out of it are. Out of it are. We've looked at it. I've yet to have anything I'd call out and out aggressive. I mean, percentage-wise, that's hard to say. Yeah, it all, yeah, depends, it all depends on. We've had some. We've had some. Uh, 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 we've had some. Uh, uh, kind of. Uh, kind of. Uh, I agree with that. And that's like you go out with a group. Now, where I go out solo, they very well could look at me. Well, he ain't nothing to worry about. One guy, and right, right. I could probably walk right past him and not know it half the time. So they just kind of sit back and watch me bumble down through there and probably have a good yeah. laugh at my expense. 
They know exactly where you're at at all times. Well, I'm sure they are aggressive. They know exactly ones. where you're at at all times. Yeah, that's what we talked about earlier. I'm sure there are aggressive ones. I just don't know how you'd put a percentage on it because, I mean, one that's not aggressive today, if you do something to take it off tomorrow, it could be aggressive tomorrow. Right. Right. Or if you just walk somebody into somebody just aggravated, aggravated a little. Yeah. Everybody, everybody is, is going to be at the wrong time. Well, it's just like what like we've said many times. Just like people, everybody has them days where today ain't the day to push me. <laughs> right, right, bad day, bad day. Yeah, and I mean there could be some that are bad eggs that are aggressive all the time. Just like with people, you got some people walk around with a chip on their shoulder looking for an excuse. Yeah, and there's, yeah, some, and there's <laughs> some that's got uh, uh, got used, got used to around their houses, the houses and get them they can get and get them and uh, get them and get them and get them and get them. Yeah. I've read and heard reports of that people gifting and feeding them and they quit and that usually goes south real quick when they quit. Right, right. Which is just like any other stray. You feed it, it'll keep coming back. Keep expecting it. Only with this stray, it's eight foot tall, seven hundred pounds, and could bounce you like a beach ball across your yard. But, yeah, yeah. Going to do what you want. Going to do what you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's what I got somebody else in private. Says Dale's trying to log back in there. I'm yeah. sitting here watching yeah. his little circle go around. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll get all these to work out, work out. Computers, when you need a fast, accurate mistake. I remember when we first started, that's got something to do with they have to give StreamYard permission to use their account or something. And it'll stick uh, their uh, account name on there instead of just Facebook user. You got to go under permissions or something. It took me a long time to get that figured out, but that's the problem. Okay. Okay. It says on here if you've got the post and post, you've got the post and post, you've got the post and post, you've got the post and yeah, I'm starting to think. Yeah, I'm starting to think it. The problem is somewhere between Facebook and Streamyard. They don't work well together, or something. Like you said, you learn something new every day. If it don't work this time, try something different next time. <laughs> I was reading a book wasn't Bigfoot related, although there was a couple of things in it that made you think. It was about the Trail of Tears, the Native Americans, the Cherokee. Yeah. And yeah. it had in it when the English and Polish and Irish, German, all first settled and met the Native Americans, they thought they were the lost tribe of Israel, the uh, tribe of Sham, I believe. Have you ever heard anything about that? No, I, no, I, right there. 
I thought it was pretty interesting. They actually thought they found the lost tribe of Israel, the Native Americans. And some people still believe that. And then it was talked about how when they were trying to convert the Cherokee to Christianity, it said they didn't really care for the Old Testament or even most of the New Testament, but when it comes to the part about Jesus and all the things he did, and especially the part where he was crucified, even the Cherokee, you know, respected him, so that's a great warrior that can hang on a cross like that and not scream out or curse or weep or anything, but up to the very end when he cried out, it is done. And it's like, he was a great chief. He was a great warrior. And the Native Americans apparently had some kind of intuitive respect for Jesus. Not Christianity as a whole, just Jesus. Just Jesus. I thought that was pretty interesting. The man, the man, the three, three, whatever they think, whatever they think, man. Got another, got another detail question. Question. What do we, what do we believe? That's a big question. That's a big question. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's a rabbit hole right there. Yeah. Yeah. You want to take I, it first? I, I believe there's. I believe there's. I believe there's, 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 there's they talk about they the, talk about the genus of the genus of the eight the eight. I believe they may believe they may some people stamp them a fatal. If they are, they're very limited and very few. I think he froze up on us. Oh, Thomas is here. Yeah, I came in. Came in. Finally got here. <laughs> yeah, I had a little, I had a little yeah, bit of yeah, problem. I had a little bit of problem. That's a bad one there. If you can, yeah. if you can, if you can, if you can, if you can, Checking everything here. I'm checking everything here. You hear me? You hear me? Yeah, Hello? Hear okay, okay. Yeah, I think it was his mic causing the echo. Yeah, maybe. 
That that's probably it. That pretty well could be in it. I get I gotta get rid of these glasses here. Uh, oh. all right. I'm sorry, uh, it came in late. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We're, we've had we've had Ricky Weaver Ricky here Weaver in the men's area, and uh, Dale's been trying to join. He comes in and out. Uh, we was kind of uh, answering the answer answer question it. here: What do we believe Big is? And I said I believe it's several believe different it. things put into the, put into the big, big group. Well, I've answered that I've before. Answered you want to well, I'll stick. I still think, still think it's a primate. Just, just, primate. yeah, just one that don't want, don't want to recognize. Well, well, we know the government knows about it because there's a number of sheriffs they call. If one's reported by them, state police have the same number. So, so all I can th think of it could be either it has to be a member of the primate family. Ex excuse the dog. Excuse the dogs in the background. <laughs> but um, well, you know. Everything, everything comes when the test been done without government human human DNA. Basically, we read ape on our hand that carries, that carries DNA sequence similar to ours. So, yeah, you know, we're right there, right there on that. Board. What, what is, is is it? Is it? Is it a great ape? Great ape? This happens. Cubans share the same, you know, as a human. Or is it, is it half human, half half great ape? Or or you know, is it a member of the human species that never evolved? So. so. That's my personal belief. And we've had long discussions about uh, 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 one of the Esau's disciples, and they just chose not to be around our part of the human race. Live totally wild. But I'm still open to the ideal. Is so many different. So many different. Uh, physical descriptions. Descriptions. Is this all the same? All the same personal belief. Yeah, I mean, legends. So so far, always true. Always truth to legends. So, so looking at it, you know, from the point of view I had in my lifespan since I've been out of high school and working government. There's always true to it. And it's yeah. been reported throughout the world. world. Some of it's different, different than other. We're, so we're possibly, possibly dealing with more than one type of species. You know, you got saying, saying they're, they're killing animals. Other, others say they're kidnapping and everything. You go out and you go Pacific, Pacific Northwest and living out there for seven years like I have and I've got friends with Yakima you know that are Yakima when they when they do know these creatures around there about hunting, hunting they will leave the area and let it have it now, if it's on the patient, patient, say, like at like White Swan. White Swan, Washington, is far too Yakima. 
No, but White Swan's dead center of the Yak, almost dead center of Yakima territory. And, and that's tribal If they know one, one in the area, they will not will not allow their women out of the house with an esc escorted by one or more male, mem male members of that family just to go from the door car. Well, well, I've seen it. I've seen it happens. Quest questions, naturally. They said because their women known and known kidnapped by them. So, so there you have it. You know, straight from tribal mouths, kidnap, kidnap the women. They say it here. But you and I have heard what we was kid was kids playing. Out, outside, you know, over by Mulberry Mountain. Yeah, yeah. And, and I don't know. 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 When no, no, heard them, heard them chatter like we, like we've heard. Just, could, just couldn't understand what they're saying and everything. So we, so we got a language, got a language. Know what the, know what the language is, and, and it's just puzzling. And and that's just like down the part of the state race was raised. Legend of Boggy Creek, but then there's reports from up, from other areas down there. Same same creature, a creature, but not aggressive. They likely want to want to avoid human contact. But again, it, it, I wish Anthony, Anthony was on here to verify verify it too. Hunting dog hunting is ripped to ripped to shred. And never seen never seen a bear rip bear rip a pack walker walkers or blue tip shred shred or intent. Usually the pack of brown line. And if a bear's brown's brown well, well they're off they're all it kill it. But again, again You've got a creature avoiding the humans, but it'll stand its ground and defend itself, like a hunting, a hunting dogs. So yeah, I think yeah. they're always going to defend themselves, or they're a pack or a clan or whatever you say. That it's just like us. They're family. You're going to defend your family. So if something's coming in uh, too much, they're, they're they're going to try to bluff charge and run it off at first. But if that don't work, they're going to very become aggressive. Yep. Sorry, I'm rubbing. I'm rubbing. I got allergies. Allergies going on here. <laughs> I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> Well, he's gone. Yeah, he said he'd be oh. back in a second. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, uh. So, so, drop in, drop in yet, or? Do what? Do what? Neil ever, Neil ever get on yet, or? No, he don't get off till 10. Uh, he's got, uh, he's helping manage the, the, the Pizza Hut, we went and got pizza last time. How are How are Yeah. And he he don't get off to the pen, so he said he wouldn't be able to make it this time. Ah. Uh, yeah, everybody, everybody was able to get on here. <laughs> yeah, you're the only one out of the room. He can try again, maybe. I got a full internet signal. I don't know if he was bad or what. Got yeah, another yeah. question. Oh, he says, oh, yeah. this must be, you know, so 
Sorry, guys. I'm hitting a wall here. Wall here. He may, he may, he can't get on with it. Yeah, um, I ran a problem over on Google. Google. It kept on telling me the the version of Google got, got Chrome. Chrome I've got got wouldn't let the video come. In. So I have, I had the actual were were my Firefox to get on here. So I've been five minutes trying to get in the room. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm here, here, here. I just go straight to, to the YouTube and just go into Facebook and then repost it into the Facebooks and Twitter and all that. I won't have a lot of these problems, it says. Kind of like Barry was saying, I guess Facebook and StreamYard is kind of at odds with each other. Yeah. The new Facebook rules. What it's saying here, I was reading up on it, how to, how to, be, how to have a better show, and it says that's the most common problem. Yeah. Bad yep. connection and uh, Facebook wants to control your stream. Well, I know. I know on Friday. That's gay. That's gay. And the good news is I've got three three other members of my group's gonna be there. Um I were with we were with Darren that lives down in Dardanelle. We're gonna make a stop and pick my nephew Mike up. And Anthony is he's gonna he's gonna be there. Let's see if let's see if he, Pardon me? When is that, Thomas? The uh, uh, 19th? You said we had all that in that Mountain View area. Yeah, uh, the, the one in the Mountain View, that got canceled because uh, the guy, uh, Mike, is, that weekend we can't be there at the cabin but on the 29th. I told him it had to be later in the year before I could get back up there. But you had some yeah. going in the didn't you? Uh, um, nobody on my team, my team has anything going on tonight, night, and we were all scheduled to go up there. So it said, said something was going on. We're I need to get a hold of them, hold of them and let, let them know. Yeah, they can go ahead and make a plan. Yeah, on the town now. And hadn't heard back from Anthony about the needs of needs of Bill Able to get the camping area down area down Saline River. Yeah, so let me know. So, Don't get that rescheduled. Yeah, because. The mosquitoes might carry us away. We may 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 have may have bird shot to shot to defend ourselves from those things, but <laughs> yeah, that other, other than that. got another question they sent me here on the email. Uh, what do we think it'll take uh, to prove the existence of a uh, uh, Bigfoot? But, yeah. Well, there. <laughs> Well, well, can of worms there again. That, that, that was, uh, theoretically, what it will take is finding from this uh, dead in a specimen. Well, well, besides the body, head, head. About the only other thing I saw, saw send them a blood. <laughs> So, uh, well, we got here. Uh, 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 a video with it. 
Well, like I said before, there are some skeptics or critics. A Sasquatch can walk up on their porch, knock on their door, and ask for a cup of sugar, and they still would deny it. And mainstream science is the same way. I don't know if it'll ever be official. You could have a body, you could have DNA, well, we've already got DNA. You could have hair samples, footprints, witnesses. If Bigfoot was a bank robber, you could convict him and put him in the electric chair. And mainstream yeah, science yeah, and some yeah. some critics just, nope, uh-uh. So will it ever be officially accepted? I doubt it. That's me, I doubt it. Me, I doubt it. Give me a shot in my head. Dale, Dale, Dale. I see you, baby. Got a cool shirt on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he's going to be wearing that Bigfoot shirt. Oh, wait. <laughs> Well, yeah, the only thing I get about the evidence, there's going to be the skeptics out there. I don't know who you are. You get somebody, they'll, they'll no, 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 that's, no, that's just a cop. You know, and it's kind of like Anthony told me a while back. Probably the best thing to do is take the head. They want to. Are you with you? Pull that head out of the freezer and say, Here you go. What's this thing? So, so it's just, then, he, then, he, then you get into the, the if you got it, if you got it, is the government need to carry it. You'd have to, you'd have to, you'd have to carry several places at the same time. So that they couldn't, uh, I don't know, I don't, what's the word, disprove it or make it a yeah. fake. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing right there. I know, I know I've, I've heard. Always said the way to do it is if you shoot one, kill it dead. You. He for there. Right there. What I was going to say is if you've got the body, you call up 20 of your best buddies, tell them meet me in the Walmart parking lot in 30 minutes and bring your cell phone. And then you all go live at the same time. And they call 20 of their buddies, and they call 20 of their buddies, and you make it go viral to the point they can't come. That's how you do it. You get two or 300 people Putting that video out there at the same time and you pull the tarp back, here it is. Now, I'm not advocating killing one. I'm just saying that's the way you blow it wide open right there. there. You just there. do it to the point they can't cover it up. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. About the only what the only way to do it something like that. Here's another question I kind of like with that same thing. It says in Oklahoma now you can actually catch a big foot. What would be your, our ideas on how to catch a big foot? Run. <laughs> Run. run. This, this white boy's going to run. I ain't going to hit you. It's the old saying. You don't have to be faster than Bigfoot. You got to be faster than the guy next to you. 
And if you shoot him in the knee, you're faster than the guy next to you. We all, we already know who we got to be faster than, don't we, Thomas? Clint. He was supposed to be here tonight, but Clint said he ain't running. So. Uh, what's this trip? Clint, and keep on booking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's kind of where I get the short end of the stick because I go out by myself. I ain't got nobody yeah. else slower than yeah. me out there. <laughs> Nope, you're in trouble. Nope, you're in trouble. You I guess I'm just going. I'm just going to, have to stand my ground. He might get me, but I'll let him know he got somebody. <laughs> well, well, that's my, that's my, that's my contractor. contractor. Um, um, well, 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 here, here a few weeks ago. Stand there, stand there, knocking, and and all, and all of a sudden. Line comes, line comes this big old loud knock right up against one back there. Back there. He turned and turned and think nothing, think nothing about it. Heather was sitting down there on the trailer, looks at me. And said, yep, Dell's back. <laughs> Every time I went, time I went to him, they said, him that the perfect timing. That went on all night. Knocking was right when you contractor there huh yeah he said what's that i'll give you two give you two. big big foot, big foot. I said, you get <laughs> maybe maybe i want to load my up and, up and take it with me no nah, he hasn't came up this far close to the barn yet <laughs> so so it's parked park down my barn <laughs> now, i had a neighbor though he thought he thought I have I have batty a few years of course he's of course he's from Pennsylvania. And he's one of these, one of these type of like go out and watch the comets and the stars and all. And he thought I was kidding around about tree knocks come tree line, tree line. He's out down by the shop, which yeah, is down yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. So about one about one o'clock in the morning. Here comes the tree knocks. The next day he said, Yeah, ha ha ha, Vernie going out there going out there in the middle of the wood, hitting a stick, stick, or ball or ball bat. I said, I'll tell you this much, Bill. At one last night last night, Tom was in bed asleep. <laughs> right, wasn't he? And that's when it Yeah, that's when his eyes got open and then he noticed the deer disappeared. And well, the deer, the deer disappeared, but his feet, his corn feeder, they said, a deer, deer, deed, deed. So he went and got him some more corn, corn for it out, put it out there. No, no deer. He goes out and takes the couple, couple days later, 50 pounds, or over 50 pounds of corn gone. I I well a good one sit out there. He heard something something sound, he said sound on a, a trasher trasher coming through that tree trees through your cane digging thicket and it didn't have didn't have engine noise. He said, I took my spotlight and shined over there two red two red eyes looking at <laughs> He's a little smart boy. You met there. <laughs> uh, well, how long? How long? We had yeah, go time. ahead. Uh, two weeks. You know, I was uh, up there with Marcus and uh, one of our other uh, team members, uh, Austin. Uh, Austin. We was doing tree knots, we didn't get actually not bad, but we was doing both of the directions. And when we knock, we'd hear both of the at the same time, probably, uh, probably, I don't know, it probably started off 300 yards away. And then once the location started, started to us, the two, you could smell, uh, 
smell. Well, uh, didn't figure out what we was. Out what we was. We stopped. We stopped. Uh, make it back, but okay, it's okay. It's okay. When it's still far away, it may be called here, it may not. That's the first time that's ever happened. And they ain't ain't gonna be for the truth of the truth. Yeah. Just, just, it, it happens, you know. He asked me how long it's going, been going on here. I said, well, you know, you know well, the kid, the kid, this is from our grandparents' foot place. Yeah, yeah. So I went, they went down. My grand, my grandparents wouldn't let us go out. I mean, we, we sit down and down the tree line all around, all around the chicken yard, catch possums, possums. Yeah, and but come sundown, my grandparents wouldn't let grandkids, grandkids go go outside. We go in the front yard, but we not allow allow in the backyard. Backyard. I, I told him no. Bad my bad my grandparents have indoor indoor plumbing. You know they didn't have a bathroom. They burn water and water from a pump to the kitchen sink. So we weren't allowed, weren't allowed to go out house at house at night. But my gra- but my grandmother made sure the pot was always right there. And would tell us you gotta go to the bathroom, you use the bed pot and you clean it out in the morning. And never could understand why or or they made a mistake and leave me and my brother here. And we got kind of nosy. That's when we first heard, ever heard knocks, big knocks on this place. And we kind of, we kind of off, you know, off, you know, being kids. Oh, oh, that I was just a tree falling down, falling down there. But now I better, better. Now I know why they didn't let us come, us come out. I figured this creature here, creature here on my place been coming over here. You know, for decades, or one of its descend descendants. So I don't bother it. It doesn't bother me. The way I see, or vice versa, it bothers me. So I'm not bothered. It. That's the same way around here. Growing up, uh, you know, they always uh, uh, they you better not go outside. Did you? Every, every spring or that you'll hear that branch woman or a panther. panther. But uh now being older I've heard panthers and what we'd hear then wasn't no panther. It's it was exactly a Bigfoot scream. And now that we've found them on the cattery uh the tracks and everything down here and I heard that them two that was chattering back and forth to each Damn. other. When I come back and talk to my uncle, and he said, "Well, you know better than me." I put two together to figure out what was going on. They didn't want us around. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the way my grand grandparents used to woods. Woods. Yeah, yeah. Woods. Yeah, yeah. Woods. 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 Wo that went up there around Corley, or, or them, them. They'll see them every now and then in their yards, but they don't bother. So they don't, so they don't bother bother the houses or chickens or none of that. Of course, curious, curious. They leave them be. When they, when they start bothering us, by animals, animals. Family, family, we'll we'll start bothering them. So, so. Go back to back to like in the eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, eye for a lie, for a lie. The way I see it, and we and we all know you see one, you better turn around because. You know, one or more behind you, 
right. or somewhere close right. watching you. And that's why I, I always told my guys, you know, you go out there, don't go, on, go, on, go, you know, you know, together, together, go, go, two or more, or more of you. But be on, be on the side because you see one, you're going. Yeah, it it's safety and not. You don't know if this is aggressive or not. It's not. So, so I know a lot of people. Oh, they don't exist and all that. Yeah, you know, I've seen one out elk hunting. And I had to take a, pull a scope up because I, with naked eye, I thought it was a person. And see, and see that thing walk across that mountain metal foot of hood, Mount Hood, in Oregon. Yeah, that changed my life. It was the first, it was the first one I seen eye to eye, you know. Uh, like I said, the first one I saw was in Fowl, and it was a good head taller than me and went across the field. But uh, the way that it was running, if a person was running, they're going to be in there. Well, it was all bent over as it was running. You know, a person, if you want to be fast, you're going to stand up straight and get to going. This was lit over at an angle and moving a lot faster than I could have run. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so the bad thing about it, that day I seen that when I was the on top of another ridge with one of the members of the Yakima tribe and my son, and and they both seen it, seen it, and there was. There was, to, there was a total of nine I was hunting that day in that area, that area for elk. And me, and me and my son was the only two white people, the rest of the rest of the Yakima, the Yakima tribe. And when I seen that, and my friend that was sitting there, he pulled, he pulled up his, his field binoculars and looked and put them down. Come on, we're, come on, we're leaving. By that time, the uh, the other six Yakima was coming up that ridge, and they like to ran us get get to their trucks. And, and they said, "We need to hunt where the hairy the hairy man is." This is hunting ground. Ground. We don't care what you say. This is his place. His place. If, if you shot one down, it would belong to him. They don't try. They try them with them with. Like I said, like I said earlier, they have had some red some enough. Come into their, you know, you know, little communities they have, town, townships, and and take them. Away. But if anybody wants to say they're not real, let, let them see. That's a life changer. changer. Yeah. I don't even deer, deer hunt stuff anymore. anymore. It's that day, day. I mean, I seen that, seen that thing. I ain't quit pheasant there, there without somebody with, or knowing there's a group of other close by. By. I mean, it just. It's a thing. Then. It's kind of like I told one of my friends, my friends they put a fear of God in you. Oh, yeah. Get you oh, out yeah. With me. So, if you have a close encounter, you're, cha you're changed for life. You, you go from being a, maybe a believer or this believer. Or, uh, you're talking yeah. about hunt, hunting there. Uh, uh, Lots of deer hunting stories where they were going out on uh, squirrel hunting, uh, coon hunting. But uh, the very few, I think I've heard two reports where somebody was turkey hunting. You would think that uh, being out in the spring, that uh, there'd be more reports from turkey hunters. 
because it's all going on right now. But I think I've only heard two encounters that's happened while somebody was turkey hunting. I guess it. You, you'd think they'd be coming to the sound of somebody making a turkey, <laughs> and if they're if they eat turkeys, so you so think they'd be more during the spring season. Yeah, you'd think so. But you also get got to look at my neighbor. My neighbor just past my place here. He's got he's got three big chicken houses. They're getting they're getting free yeah. food. They go in they go in there and they clean and they and they ever have to clean out the dead the dead chickens. And they just go back these these chicken houses and pits and all. They do they do the turkey houses the same way. So they they don't they don't have to go out and try to check you know catch a wild turkey to raise them base chicken houses around. They got free food. Let's <laughs> go pick it than it is to actually go out and nut. Yeah. No slow, no yeah. Slow. What you were saying about the turkey hunters reminds me of a story I got. One of my friends, he's a deer hunter, but he's a big time shed hunter too. I mean, he'll go way deep yeah. looking for sheds. And it, he didn't see anything, but he said he was out one afternoon and it was getting about dusk. He said, I heard the most ungodly roar I'd ever heard in my life. He said, it's like even the wind stopped when this thing screamed. He said, I didn't stick around to see what it was going to be. He said, I got my stuff and I got up. But when you talk about, you know, you think turkey hunters would have more encounters. That made yeah. me think, you yeah. know, shed hunters, they're out there looking for sheds. They're not trying to be quiet. They're not trying to be sneaky. They're just walking. Half yeah. of them, yeah. like him, half the time, probably don't even have a weapon with them when they're hunting sheds. So you would think shed hunters would be another can to have more run-ins because yeah. Yeah. They're not even trying to avoid it. Well, most of them don't even know what's right. out there to avoid. But I agree with everything you said. I didn't have an eye-to-eye -eye encounter like you have. But I had enough of an encounter. Like I said, it just changes the way you look at the world. Because when you, when you realize there's something out there that ain't supposed to be. Because it took me about two days of running it over and over in my head. Well, that wasn't a person. That wasn't a deer. That wasn't a bear. Wasn't a horse. Wasn't a cow. Wasn't the neighbor's dog. Or what's left? And I've been reading about these things ever since I was a kid. So I already kind of believed that there was a day, like Wendell said, I went from being a believer to a knower. Because there just wasn't nothing else left. I mean, when you eliminate everything that's probable, whatever. I forget this is a quote who said it. Up there. Yeah, yeah, I think it kind of froze up there. Uh, froze up right. when you eliminate everything that's probable, and then it froze up. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, it, you just kind of go through that process in your brain. Well, it couldn't have been this, or it couldn't have been that, it couldn't have been this, and you're, you're only left with, with, with uh, it had to be a big bug. Been there yeah, yeah. several times. I mean, I mean, I see a lot of people trying to connect. They keep saying his device does not have a uh, 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 microphone, so it won't let it on there. Let it on there. Uh, be uh. off work, be off work. Here for an hour. Hour. Yep. 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 Look like we lost him. Yeah. Yeah. He's back. He's back. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's figure that's what happened. Dale, his, his internet service froze him up and get on. Yeah. yeah. Mary's Mary's back. back. Mary's back. There he is. There he is. There he is. Yeah. I'm going to check on mom again real quick. I'll be back in a second. I don't know what he said. No. 
Tak, yeah, you hear dogs in the background here. <laughs> well, 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 I'm going to sleep. They're laying around sleep here. Uh, yeah, I'm shocked. Yeah, I'm shocked. My black hand hadn't start started barking, bang. We, yeah, we just got him. And he he's got to run right now. Now with the cone of cone of shame. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, thinking about doing this uh, once a month, our time is like the third Saturday every month. You know. Setting up a, a YouTube channel that's just called the Seekers and post yeah. it up there and then share it to their pages. Their pages. I think that's, I think that's a good. Idea. Good idea. Yeah. It sure does. Oh. Set up. Set up. Set up before yeah. next month and. We'll try to do it every third month and post it to that YouTube page called The Seekers. Go from there. We might not have this first broadcast on here because it went straight to Facebook. But now we'll second time on. Yeah, it was one set up, set up, uh, count all that over on the phone. Kick me up there, and that's it. That'll be our best bet, and we'll just set up and hold. Hey, there's it still says he's not got a device. He's trying to get on his car for Neil. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Must be my laptop. I'm buying over. I'm buying over. So I decided I can't join you. Hello, Wendell Marion. That must be, uh, not sure if that's Dale or if that's Neil. <laughs> no, I don't know. It just shows this show Facebook, Facebook on my end, my end. Yeah, that's, maybe they can leave a comment in their comment and say, hey, this is Neil uh, or this is Dale. <laughs> All right, oh, Dale look kind of like Looked like he was like he was taking it kind of easy, easy there, kind of comfy yeah. where he was. Sitting. He might feel, might feel asleep. <laughs> Hello, Dale. set up just a whole YouTube channel for the session. That way we can post direct to there. Try to do this once a month. Uh, and we'll try to come up with any kind of guess we, we can. Y'all got any final comments before we conclude this episode? Uh, not really. Just I know when we go out, try to get enough evidence. You know, that's all we, that's all we can maybe get some, get some pictures. We can show on there. These people think we're think we walking, out, walking out through there. We got the thermal we get pictures off of. We got, you know, you know the body cam down, your camera. We get, yep. we get off, 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 show. Yeah, and... Let them decide. Decide. We tell them what's happening and everything. And like said, said, you know, Barry said. Barry said earlier, we're going to have these people all this, this, and all this. I'll just make, just make it up. You know. Well, you know, I don't have to say to them people. Yes, believe it or not, I do have better things to do when I get up every day than fool with you. <clears throat> That's not the first thing on my mind when I wake up in the morning. How can I fool somebody into believing Bigfoot's real? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I know people accuse me of being a smart aleck every now and then, but it just gets the point. I don't argue with them anymore. If you don't want to believe, don't. <laughs> it's kind of like yep. all these people yep. that get offended by everything under the sun. If it bothers you, don't look at it, don't listen to it, don't watch it, don't read it. Just don't. <laughs> Well, I will say this too. Yeah, it's very, it's There's very, a certain percentage of people, and I'm talking about close friends and family, I hope they never have an encounter because I honestly don't think they can handle it. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, it would absolutely, I hate to say it, but, and I ain't saying I'm any better or any tougher. Or, I think the only thing that helped me is I already believed. And when what happened happened, I just went, like I said, from believing to knowing. But for people like them, I just don't believe that it would break them. If one was to walk out of the woods 30 foot from them and look them dead in the eyes, it would literally break the it bring the world crashing down around them I'm not sure they right. can handle right. it well I've been there too like I said I've been there too 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 I've been there too
and I even got a couple are still still government employees. I'm not going to say who they work for because because just and they've had experiences and they've all they've all stretched into a, a sister sister group it's a group of them that got them that got together they go out they go out in south arkansas arkansas so say i say i don't feel like we're being watched oh one we were one we were kidding about earlier is we got one after us he us he'd be the one we trip because he can't he can't run yeah yeah. See the drone watching this well. This yeah. well, we we were in we we were in we were in Mulberry 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 High Guard and I knew they were doing it. I knew I knew that we weren't being watched. They were just doing our our mapping that night. I really, I really don't feel like we're being watched when we go out there unless we kill we kill one and then word gets out we did it. And my team won't do it unless it's self defense. Just like the rest of the teams we work with. Only only way we'll go out, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm the founder of Arkansas Bigfoot. Uh, uh, we go out hunting proof of these creatures not out there, not out there to to kill, kill the creatures I, i'll let them do that that you know they're the ones running their own into the into the ground we've only had uh, uh, an experience, experience i saw where i thought said the only time and I'm not being completely serious but I was telling Wendell when I got hacked and locked out of Facebook twice within a month of each other it almost yeah, felt like yeah, somebody yeah. had it in for me <laughs> like somebody was trying to shut me up which anybody that knows me boy did they bark up the wrong tree <laughs> yeah it's just like Thomas said I want the truth. I want answers. There's nothing left to prove. We know they're real. Now the question is, it ain't are they, it's what are they. It's not what they do, it's how they do it and why they do it. I'm past the I'm past the proving the real thing to anybody. That's, 
I mean, you talk about barking up the wrong tree and beating your head against a brick wall. That's the definition of it right there. Yeah, yeah. Here's a big old, here's a big old ball. We're applied to that. See that happening? Yeah. Um, all game, all game of fish commission don't recognize them. The federal government, if you ask, you ask any employee, they lies because big. He he tracks we it it's bad. That's their go back. That's their go back. Yeah. Yeah. Just to know, it's yeah, all game ball, yeah. all game fish, game fishing, fishing. And, and he knew us boys knew there was one near Hurricane Hurricane Creek outside of Bryant, where we hunted. And and he told us, whatever you do, don't turn it in, because the answer you're going to you're going to get from our office is it's bare. It's just a matter. Do you, do you tell somebody? Or do you tell somebody? I don't, I don't. I'll tell you right now, as a former government employee, the best thing is you can tell somebody, but make sure it's nobody with any government agency. Because you shot, you shot real quick, real quick, that it's a bear. Or like this one, pack your stack your stuff and get out, get out here. Now, now, if you got a WMA permit, like like Wendell I went last year, teams up near Mulberry Mountain, we had had WMA permits. permits. Well, now, now we got those from Arkansas Fishing Fishing website, so they had register. We were going to this area. And we had our permits, so we didn't get bothered. I remember, I remember Wendell tell talking about the black SUV near Area Two. That's where, that's where I was just short. That's where they, that's where they said I picked, I picked the track, the track that feed juvenile. And I don't know Wendell. Wendell used Wendell used it too, but but. I swear, every time I kind of glanced my left shoulder, I was tracking, I was tracking that juvenile that day and that female. I swore I seen a boy kind of look, kind of looking. I think we, I think we were being watched. It's just that sixth. When you have your first experience, and your life has changed, when you want, want, you can sense it that they're, that they're, they're, they're watching. Yeah, yeah. I actually got to see got to see the one on my place last year. Couldn't get, I couldn't get my phone out of my pocket quick. It was on my lawn mowing, mowing down by my tree line. And I mowing right along big big garden pile. Make sure I make sure I didn't pick up any wire or anything in my blades. And some and something halfway through there he told me cut, cut. When I looked up there he stood. I didn't tell nobody, nobody that, that I seen him, but my wife and Wendell and a few others. But I didn't do it on open Facebook. Didn't right. mess right. between us. Now, in fact, now, in fact I think the investigation, investigation, no, we didn't have an investigation until back in the fall. Yeah, I told Wendell on Facebook Messenger about it. I mean, it's just like 
I was excited, I was excited because, because I knew it was back there. I'd never seen it. And it was like a kid in a candy store. But there was no way I was going to tell on my oldest, my oldest son that that I knew when he called her that day, that day because he duty. And he's, and he's a sheriff deputy. Well, he's a sheriff deputy, deputy. Now he works for a PD. Because he told me the same thing. Government agency, if it's local, county, county, state, federal, you don't. Because you tell us, we, we'll just put it down as a bear or a trespasser. But we got a number we have to. We're supposed to call them. We don't want to call them. So we get these calls. We know they exist, but we'll put it in our paperwork. A bear us pass, pass. Depend on depend on where it's at. And and they got a lot of trespassers passers toward toward Mulberry Mountain. Right. And just within the last Don't want their don't want their use because they like their they like their jobs. Yeah, those, those guys yeah. don't. Those guys share to parents don't get paid. paid. Most cops three thousand a year in a year, but gotta have gotta have the job to pay the bills. I understand. That's the yeah. way we're uh, doing uh, all this good stuff. All this good stuff. Uh, I'll pull our research resources together. I mean, it's hard to be what Barry is. So there's all kinds of equipment that you got. You need really. I mean, you don't have to have it, but it sure makes it a lot easier. And we're as a team. And there's about eight of us. We just now after being in for four or five years getting stuff that pretty good. Pretty good. It takes a while. Oh, yeah. to buy. You know, I was going to say, in their defense, it's not the local sheriff or the deputy telling you it was a bear or it was a trespasser. It's somebody yeah. way above their pay grade, probably on the other end of that telephone number they've got that they don't want to call, telling them to tell you it was a bear or a trespasser. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, they're just towing the coat. Like you said, they, they want to keep their jobs. Same with game wardens and everything else. They want to keep their jobs, so they told the company line and they say what they're supposed to say. Because I had the incident, Rendell's heard about this. A law enforcement official come to me and said, you know, there's a lady in another part of the county who's got a video of something on its hind legs walking across a dam on a property. Well, Fish and Wildlife told her it was a bear, and we told her it was a bear. And don't be telling people you got Bigfoot out here or you have every nutcase in the country out here looking for it. I said, well, best I know, I'm the only Bigfoot nutcase in this country. <laughs> I said, no, I ain't going to go out there and bother her. But, I mean, like you said, that it's a bear. And somebody above them told Dan to tell her that. I guarantee it. And the funniest part of it all, he's like, I wasn't yeah, going out there yeah. to look for it. He said, but you might want to check it out. I'm sitting there thinking, so here you are, armed to the teeth, afraid to go back there and look. <laughs> but you want me to go. Well, you tell me exactly where it's at, and I'll be there with bells on. <laughs> he never would give me the exact. And I've tried my darndest to get in contact with this woman and get a look at this video. I'd love to get a look at a, a video of a bear going across the dam on its hind legs. Because that would be just as, if not more amazing, 
than a video of Bigfoot to me because most bears can't walk across the dam on their hind legs. They do well to take two or three steps on their hind legs without tumbling. I want to see one go across a wet dam on its hind legs. <laughs> me too. Me too. Well, yeah. that's, that's kind of like my that's kind of like my my sister over in a, my sister over in area. Um, first time I ever, of course, my sister have a back back port port deck or deck. And it's four feet, four feet from the ground to the back door. Back door. You got to use the extension ladder to change the light. But well, well, it's the first time, first time I've ever seen one. These lights rip completely out of junk, junction boxes on just hanging by the sheriff came out. Look, you know, empty went, empty went out. Looked at it. Somebody hit all bat, all bat. Well, went out, look. There's no, there's no sign of busted, busted light. You know, this thing's hanging by wires. Box and all outside the outside wall of the house. The house. Yeah, it's a spotlight. You know, uses the two bulbs. bulbs. The light bulbs weren't busted. So, put it, put it in. I put a security light up on a pole about 20 feet from the house. It kind of calmed down the back, on the back of the house. Now this thing started going around the front, on the front, walked across her porch, looked in her grand, her granddaughter's window, and then, then went to what used to, what used to be a living room. They made it into a room. Looked in the window, that rubbed the screen tied her throat <laughs> into a knot without breaking it. Breaking it. And she got, and she got, she told me about it. About it. Well, we, we ended up, she now, 12 security cameras around her, her house with night vision. And that calmed the situation down. And where we did, where I, where I put a, put a, a security camera, I put, Security lights up. Then I went back and added the two extra. And, and now they get an image and then on, and on camera of a dark image at the end of their driveway. <laughs> yeah, Just walking it, back and forth. He could see that yeah. in from, from them cameras and and uh, the lights kicking on. It knows how to get. Barry had that same thing around right, his house. Right, right, right. His house yeah. Lights out in the yard, and the, they did the same thing. They stopped coming up in and they're too close. Yeah. 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 When they slapped the house and it sounded like a truck hit it, I decided it was time to put some security lights up and back them up a little bit. And I know people think I'm crazy, but I even went out in the woods after that, and I was like, look, I come out here looking for you. I'm fair game. Leave mom and the dog alone. Stay away from the house. Give them that live. Don't push me. I won't push you. I just put it out there. I don't know if they understood me or not. But like you said, you put lights and cameras up, it backs them up. Because we still hear them down in the woods and around the house, but they're not coming right up in the yard slapping the side of the house and all that. So lights and cameras, I'll run them off quicker than a gun will. Yeah, yeah. They have more than that at all costs. They have more than that at all. Dale there has come in. He wished he had some place to investigate there uh, close to your sister's house, Thomas. But there at uh, Dale's, there on his mountain, we put up uh, uh, cameras. And the first night, because you can look at the date, we had all kinds of eye shine out there from this uh, uh, camera 
and it was all anywhere from eight to ten foot tall on this and just moving back and forth folks part of one of the cameras was on video and you can see these eyes just move around looking and looking so uh and then after that we never had nothing else from that area it just stopped right after that, that first night Well, it's like I, I stick to my camera cameras. They can see that UV, UV light hour, hour. and and that's why I'm on game on game cams. Even those little ones, little ones I've been putting out. I've been open. And, and you and you and bait set up the tree that time. I put a camera right there facing those apples. Yeah. But that next morning y'all went to check them. Some of the apples were gone. One was stuck on a tree. But that wasn't on my can on my camera. Because all that happened away from the camera's view. Right, so they right. could see they could see that burn. I got burn. I got I got a fun feeling. Yo, even with that vision, they can see that and see that. You know, because you got that little eye on there, on there, on there, on there, on there. I figure, I figure, whenever I put up the thermal, I figure they figure they can thermal, thermal, because that shine back off the my, my iPhone onto my face. Yo, yo. I think now that we got the, uh, your thermal and, and the night vision that uh, uh, people donated to us. Donated to us. We're our team member uh, Matthew would bring his thermal back. And he's thermal back. Working so much anymore, trying to keep it busy. I mean, he just ain't got time. I think we'll get more in now that we've got both of them in pieces of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I posted that uh, that last last investigation found view view those night vision pictures. Yeah, I still on that video. I just ain't had time to finish. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I had one person go. Person go. What are you looking at? Looking at. What you, that's what we what we see through the thermals. When we go out on the investigation, this is what I see. I said, without the, without the thermal, we're standing pitch, pitch dark. Yep. Yep. If this thermal was taken, was taken we had two. One kind of ridge, ridge, one to another, come down a ridge from another, another direction. Big bad owls. They were too deep, deep on the cause. But but without this, the only way you would see where we were standing is if you had our our well yeah. vision. Yeah. But nobody had nobody had their night with them and not in the thermal. That's what we used. Yeah. Yeah. If those people will you can tell they never going on. They was not the regular camera camera. That's so because if we used memory or memory, all you would see was blackness. Yeah. Yeah. I've got that a lot on my trail cam. It's a solid black or solid white. Only thing I can figure is they're either putting their hand right in front of the camera while you're seeing literally the skin on the palm of their hand or something. It's almost like a game. They'll play with you on trail cameras. Like Wendell says, they'll throw a pebble or stick or something and trigger it and you'll have 50 shots of nothing that you can see mm -hmm. and you can't we've figure had, out why the camera's had, uh, going off 
just like with the motion lights I've got, I'll look out there, they'll go off. I jump up, run up the window. Now something had to set that light off. It don't go off on its own. But I can't see nothing. Because by the time I get to the window, they're probably 30 yards over the hill. Right, right, fast. Bass. We had, we uh, had our, our trail on our trail. Two, two, two old weather, old weather. The trammer, the trammer, the trammer, the trammer. All you see is breath, 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 pass, and pass. Eight feet up the tree. Up the tree. Mm. It's, 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 it's a heavy breath. Heavy breath. That, that, it is just it is the song pass. Breath, breath. Well, it's just like my pictures you've seen of the fur and stuff in front of the camera. Seven yeah. or eight foot off yeah. the ground. Oh, that's a possum up in the tree. Well, there's one small problem. There ain't no limbs on that tree. So what's the possum holding on to to get out in front of the camera when it's tied around the trunk? Unless that possum's learned how to fly, <laughs> that ain't no possum. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. well other than that, the fur on it's six or eight inches long. The fur is as long as the possum's back. Yeah. 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 Right, and just out of the middle of nowhere, just that fur there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's like when we went up there at Nilo's place. place. And, and I set those I set those game cams up on that open field down on, down on the road near where that boy had well well his brother brother is a, is a deer blind. All I got all I got was over eight hours of nothing nothing. Um, nothing in the camera camera. Anything it showed where we walked, we walked through, and I stopped set the cameras up, cameras up, and then and then it showed us the next morning going same area, same area. Go, going down to that creek, creek around the rock creek. It caught us then, and it caught us coming back up, but in between wasn't nothing, wasn't nothing. She feel, she feel. Go over, go over to. Where it was near that near that deer blind, and same thing. Great hour, nothing, nothing. Showed where showed where we up and walked and walked by, and it, and it showed me coming up in the camera. Camera was shot, and but nothing on the camera. The cameras, the seat, the seat, empty. Yeah, something had to trigger, had to trigger the camera. Those cameras, they were working fine, fine. Now, I even set, I even set them up in my back, and they didn't even didn't hear until the dogs, dogs went out. And it caught, and it caught the dog they were playing and, and turned it, turned itself off, triggered it again, triggered it again, and come back. Up. So something had it close enough, just like he was, like he was saying. Playing a game with us, and like a new with a new toy, and and I mean I mean get I, get I I stick to my I think they I think they can see the are and and these are those little, the the new type of mini cameras the cam, cams not speaking. The big, like the big ones, easy to see. So that's probably why nobody's because they can see that IR that triggers them. But but uh. I think we're all muted.
Huh. I don't know what's happened here, but all, all mics has been muted here. And I didn't do it. Yeah. Oh. I noticed that. He was out looking, I didn't hear him. So I muted mine. Is it still be still muted? Yeah, we can hear you, Barry. <laughs> they were typing they were in. Typing in. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I guess he's rebooting, but that's like last went out. I went out. I had my recorder out. All I could take and barely could hear that yell down down that the other valley. Right, right. I got a new, I got a new mic. It has it has a one of those wings on it. It's battery. It's battery. I'm gonna try and get it. Yet. I'm gonna check it out. Go go out again. See see if I can hear anything over the wind. Uh, so, so well, shows he's back. Gone again. Gone again. Gone again. Yeah, if he gets back, yeah, we're yeah, coming we're up on the back here. We're back. gonna get it out. We was going to earlier and got all our questions. Yep, yep. Maybe here he comes. There he is. There he is. I'll just put what I'm trying to say in the comments. <laughs> I can hear you now. Oh, you can hear me now. Cliff Barkman made a point on the podcast Bigfoot and Beyond that he does with Bobo, he said one day when it becomes publicly accepted, there'll be an avalanche of previously existing evidence get brought forth. Trail cam pictures, right, right. videos. But he said until it's publicly accepted, people don't want to get ridiculed and stuff. They sit on it. Some of them take it to their grave with them. Right, and right. Now, the only thing I don't agree, I don't know if that day will ever come. I think it I will. Think it will. I don't think I don't think it's going to go down. 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 I stay, I stay I with, with, uh, with the UFO. UFO. I think the stuff is all with the stuff. There it is. There it is. A lot of it is locked out. A lot of it is I thought the most interesting part of that was essentially the government finally admitted UFOs are real. And the public yeah, just kind of yeah. shrugged their shoulders. Tell us something we didn't know. Yeah. I wonder yeah. if Sasquatch would be the same way. People would just, no, no duh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Glad you, you finally, glad you finally <laughs> caught up with us there. <laughs> it's just, it's just a matter of, Put it up. I like, I like that when they turned out that UFO shot they had from the, had from the Navy aviator. I mean, we'll still call, still calling them liars and all that's just a ghost post on the thermal. Well, those thermals or high dollar thermals. So, so I like Dale, I like Dale's comment. 
too fast for a camera. <laughs> Uh, name for tra for track star high school high school. <laughs> uh, but I but I'm fixed to get off here, guys. Now, now I got an early day tomorrow. Got to get some stuff wrapped up before that storm hits over here. You know. Yeah, I'm the same way. I got to get up and go to church, and then I'm going to, while it's warm and nice, I'm going to give the dog a bath, so that'll be a combination rodeo, demolition derby, no-holds-barred wrestling match. <laughs> My half to the I have, to, I have to go get my, get my black and tan hound and hound. We got we got him got him neutered a couple of days ago, days ago. So around here with here with the cone of shame. And my little 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 my uh, uh, well, this was a hundred pound bloodhound, and I knew him him didn't calm him down at all. And I was telling Wendell today he learned why we don't eat wasps, but nothing I've done so far calms that dog down. Right, right. Well, I got a, yeah, I got a hundred fifty pound, fifty pound. But anyway, and uh, I'll have some different guests next next month, and uh, I'll try to have uh, our uh, own YouTube channel for the Seekers. And uh, as far as I know, me and Barry's gonna be on uh, Northwest. Uh, West, uh, uh, Northwest Georgia uh, Cryptid. Georgia uh, Cryptid. Uh, uh, everybody tune in for that. And, uh, I just, uh, like I said, thank y'all for joining me. Thank y'all for joining me. You're welcome. Welcome. Many times. Well, it's been uh, my pleasure. God bless you for having me. All right. All right. Thanks for joining us. 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 Thanks for joining us.